kids. Aww. It also makes a great like little playroom um, touch. There's a cute little guy and gal coming up in the world of gingerbread that I want you to see too. All right, so before we get into gingerbread, let's talk snowman. about snow people, right? All right, so this is a, a snowman and it's holding the holly wreath right here. And then that's the smaller one. That's He's going 15 to be 15 inches tall. Thank yes. you. Aww. <laughs> and then this is the taller one, the $46. 20 inch snowman and he's holding a tree um, and the birdhouse with oh, the cardinal on so it. so sweet. Now if you want the 20 inch there's only five dozen to go around. You can do an easy pay of 772 to get him home and if you want the shorter guy I'm thinking son perhaps father and that's son. That's what I think okay. when I look at these guys I think papa and son. I love it. The easy pay on the 15 inch is four dollars and five cents. So everybody, do your mental math and what eight nine for about eleven dollars a month, you could get the whole family. Oh, Don't, please you know. do if you can. Please do. Right? When I look at these together and I think of Papa and little son, and look at the way the son is almost looking up at the father. So I do love mm -hmm. these together. Look at his sweet carrot nose. So you're seeing the profile. You're seeing the dimension of him. Um, his sweet little top hat. I love the detail when we come in and see like even the tassels down at the end of his scarf. And he's been sugared. Just a light dusting of sugar to give him that extra special movement. Oh, and by the way. They're illuminated. So three AA batteries inside, six hour timer. But you're going to notice in a minute when we turn the lights down that his whole snowman, his whole being winds up glowing. And look at Papa holding the, the little tree house there. He has a red bird. So these Did guys. Did the tree house come out of the tree that he shot down? That's what I'm wondering. I love it. Or is he going to put the little bird house into the tree somewhere? Like it's just a cute little scene. It is so cute. And you're exactly right. I think he cut down the tree. He realized there was a tree house and now he's going to find a new home for the tree house. Aww. Look at the glow. Look at the dimension. His sweet little carrot nose, his top hat, um, and he's made of resin. So he has wonderful detail to him and that light sparkling that Valerie put on the outside to make him extra special. You know, and what I love about him too is not only do you get grand 20 inches or 15 inches, depending on what you choose, either way, you're looking at really nice prices, especially when you consider the fact that they're on easy pay, but they don't take up <laughs> a lot of room in a circumference or a diameter, whatever the heck the measurement is. So you got it. You no, you're right. Here, it just is seven inches. So you get this really nice presence of the snowman, the tree, the birdhouse, the cardinal, but you don't need a massive table to place him. Right. And uh, you know what? I love anything that will give us a small footprint like that and still have that dimension, that, that really pop that we get from him. So many people collect snowmen. One of the highest collected items is snowman, so this will be a wonderful addition to that snowman collector in your life. I want to walk you over and show you, again, that little snowman scene that we came up with. Is that okay? Sure. Let we'll me just, just remind you, the 20 inch, that's Papa, as we're going to call them, <laughs> is getting more and more limited. Fewer than four dozen to go around. And then the son, the 15 inch guy, well, he is very, very popular. So I say don't separate them. They're meant to be together. But you do what you want. And ultimately, let me go in one ear and out the other if you don't agree. But Kathy and the team, oh, they did put them on one table. Fabulous. They're wonderful tabletop. I also think particularly for the father at 20 inches, he's going to be fine on the floor without getting swallowed up by a tall ceiling. So you'll be okay to put him next to the hearth if Can you I wanted to. Can I mention real quick, he's made out of resin. Yes. So for those with animals or children, which they're the same thing if you ask me, um, it's resin. It's not glass. So if somebody knocks it over, a tail, a person, you don't have glass to pick up. Absolutely, and that's one of the reasons why Valerie does the resin. The other reason is because that way we can get the highest detail. Uh, resin allows us to get in there with the mold in the first place and do all of the nooks and crannies the way that we want to. Um, and then we hand paint on top of that and add the glitter on the end just to give him that light, that light sparkle and that extra special movement. But maybe, um, maybe snowmen are one of your favorites. Maybe for the kids. Do you guys go out every year and build snowmen? Bree just you asked watch... me the other day if we could build a snowman. I said, oh. we have to wait for the snow, hun. Oh, my but goodness. But yes, we absolutely can. Yes, yes. It's such a wonderful family memory. Um, and maybe it's one of your favorite movies at the holiday season also. Um, but these are. Are you referring to that? guy who, you know, Love didn't it. realize he would melt if he went out and yes. played in the sun with the kids. And that's that what guy. I was thinking. If you put him next to the fireplace, it's one of those cheeky things that Valerie would do to get a little laugh, right? Yes. But this snowman, he won't melt even though he's next to the fireplace. Look at how he's holding on to that 
bird house and I love the red bird. Um, do you feel like snowman can stay out all winter time with the decorating? Funny you said that, I was thinking that too. I do. Do you guys mind if I show you the backside of the snowman? Don't worry, he's got And the closer. sides, the but profile you too. you finished it. I don't want to mess up your runner here yeah. and your little pretend snow, which is such a cute idea. But you know, often you come into my house, we walk into your house, and yes, it was meant to face forward, but folks see the decor from the side. Once in a while, if it's on like a coffee table, they even see the back. It's beautifully finished. There's glitter and detail and that illumination happening everywhere. So even if you wanted to face it out to a window, and then when you oh, were inside and you just saw the back of it, the people walking by you saw the front, it's still gorgeous, so right? So cute, I love that idea. If this is your bay window, you can use our slim tree right in the center and then add in the snowman. So cute. By the way, if you don't have the strength you used to, they're not heavy to pick up. But let me give you an update. If you want the 20 inch snowman, that's what I have in my hand. The tree in his left hand, the birdhouse and the cardinal in the right hand. There's now fewer than three dozen to go around. He's under 50 on a Black Friday sale price, but easy pay. It lets you get him home for that first payment of $7.72. <laughs> and then if you want the smaller guy, 15 inches, so don't think too tiny. We can keep them next to each other. There's only about 400 to go around in the 15 inch snowman oh. that carries the wreath. And he's super popular, under $25 with a great $4 easy pay. Love it, look at how big he is. When you're holding him up, you can see how big he is. Right? Aww, I have to tell you, you, I love your idea of doing the little faux snow. I can't do it. Clay and Bree would play in it. It would just be a mess. <laughs> but when they're of the age that they respect the decoration, yes. I am stealing that little Mallory. Absolutely. Idea. A little faux snow down at the bottom. Yes. Oh, look what we get okay, to do. Okay, so 